Genetically modified animals have been extensively used for studying in vivo gene function and for generating human disease models. There were two generally used methods for creating genetically modified animals, microinjection and gene targeting. Microinjection is a relatively convenient method, but you cannot control integration site and copy number of transgene using this method, nor can you control how many copies using this method. Using the ES cell gene targeting method, it is possible to insert one copy of the desired gene into a specific location in the genome and make both knock-in or knockout animals. However, the gene targeting method requires an extremely large amount of time, labor, and costs. In some cases, it may have taken several years until the target animal was acquired. Then, the CRISPR genomic modification technology was invented. Using Cas9 protein and guide RNA, a double-strand break is introduced into the genome target sequence. At the location of the double-strand break in the DNA that was made, two DNA repair pathways are used to modify the DNA. The error-prone NHEG pathway and accurate HDR pathway. In the HDR repair pathway, knockout and knock-in genetic modifications can be easily made, which is especially easy using CRISPR. Commonly, the CRISPR genetically modified animals were made by previously mentioned microinjection or in vitro electroporation. Both of the methods require in vitro introduction of the genetic modification agents as well as two animal pairs. However, the iGonad method does not require egg collection, in vitro processing, or egg implantation, so these steps can be completely skipped. This means that there is no need for a second pair of mice. After mating, we anesthetize pregnant mice, instill nucleic acid solution into the oviduct lumen containing fertilized eggs, grasp oviductal region with tweezer-type electrodes and perform electroporation, return the tissues to normal position in suture incision, and ensue production of genome-edited mice. Genome-edited animals can be created by yourself. The techniques for embryo collection and embryo transfer are not needed, preparation of pseudo-pregnant mice is not required, genome editing can be performed in animals lacking a system of ex vivo culture for zygotes, and females do not need to be sacrificed. Using single-stranded ODN, we can insert smaller sequences into the genome, but there are certainly researchers who wish to knock in sequences longer than 200 bases. In practice, when using single-stranded DNA in the iGonad method, an extremely large amount of DNA is needed. It takes quite a lot of labor for us to synthesize it all by ourselves. Therefore, we asked GenScript to synthesize these long sequences of single-stranded DNA for us than we would use it to create knock-in animals. This is a Delta E GFP transgenic mouse strain. Using this strain, if we edit the genome, the areas where the reading frame of the gene has been returned to normal will express GFP and fluoresce. We published a paper showing that using this method, proteins, RNPs, are much more effective than plasmids at introducing DNA into liver cells. Thus, we also created mice where that guide RNA expressing cassette was introduced into their genome. The necessary cassette size, including the arms, is about 500 bases. In addition to simple single-stranded DNA, GenScript also synthesized DNA modified with phosphorothioate linkages, PS modified DNA, and we also tried using that. Results showed both the iGonad and microinjection methods had extremely high knock-in efficiencies when using PS modified DNA. Data also showed that the iGonad method is not inferior in any way to the microinjection method. PS modified DNA yielded good results, but we still need to confirm the reproducibility of these results going forward. We have also published the protocol as you can see here. We have also published a review with some tips. These are all of the researchers involved in the development of this method. We would like to take this opportunity to thank them all.